story times. We are going to talk about what happened to me last week. Okay, so this is another do not do people in the DMs interested in purchasing content for the content creator. <gasps> Let's get started from the beginning. So I'm just going to first set the mood and let you guys know that this person has been so respectful before going through liking my photos, um, leave me comments, you know, looking at my stories. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And so one day um, I get, which is like last month, they get in my, my comments on one of my pictures and say, hey, love your stuff. Um, absolutely love the upper lip, no smelling thing, the stank face. And i um, interested in, you know, get, doing some business with you, basically. I read your DMs and your DMs totally said um, the DMs are for business purposes only. So being respectful of writing in your comments. I'm like, this is the first person ever to, you know, respect my wishes and actually read my DMs and use a brain. So I was like, cool. So I reach out very same day and say a response like, thank you very much for re reaching out and being respectful to my wishes. I am more than happy to discuss business with you. If you're interested in video chatting, please let me know exactly what you're looking for with like a smiley face and some hearts. So that was like I said, March 31st last month go about my business posting and doing different stuff so Friday I put up an ad and I like I put up an ad for my website and I put up an ad for like some videos that I'm selling and then I get a uh, DM but this is not the same it's the same day but like in the morning so um, when I do my stories normally at the end of the day everybody goes back and looks at them and then they respond back to my messages well in this case I was sleeping um, so I get a message at 1 19 a.m. from this said client and says hey uh, what's up are you up and I was like ah. now in this situation I woke up in the morning and I saw this message and I get up early. So I saw this message at 7.46 in the morning. I could have taken, you know, upon myself to like get up and do my day and then respond. But because I love you guys and it matters to me, I responded right away while I was on the toilet. <laughs> Anyways, I said, um, I do not open DMs at that time, that late or early love. How can I help you? Because again, you guys, my DMs are for business purposes only. So I didn't get anything that early morning because I know, like I said, of course, I messaged way early um, when I got back. But again, I got a message to myself at 1.19. So 7.46, I didn't really feel bad about sending a reply message back. So later on that evening, around like 5, well, 5.11 to be exact, um, I get a message back and it says, you know, it's okay, I'm usually asleep at that time, but I was up, I had a late night for work, and I just basically wanted to talk about doing video chat with Stink Faces because I know that you don't do any um, meetups and it would be like my first time doing a video chat. So we kind of go back and, well, not really back and forth, but kind of back and forth a little bit, a couple messages, and I'm letting them know, hey, it's understandable, a lot of people have never video chatted um, before um, I just like to schedule my video chats ahead of time so you can't just call me anytime you want to you need to call you need to message me schedule them pay for it and then you know we can go ahead with our said date and so he said he didn't read any of my message and this is kind of where it, it starts uh, getting interesting <laughs> so he gets into basically what he wanted to see me do and uh, what kind of fetishes he was into, which like I said, it was the, the stank face. And then I said, you know, I don't discuss anything that you're wanting or any like uh, requirements or anything like that that you want in this video chat until the time has been purchased and reserved. And you know, um, I know for a fact like, okay, yeah, we're, this is gonna happen. So then I get voice clips and voice clips are, are like I just I'm not a fan of voice clips at all and on my page I asked and I asked everyone to please refuse like refrain from sending me voice clips because sometimes I'm out and about and I don't have headphones in and I don't want people listening to my comments and I don't think you want people listening to your messages talking about you know what you want and discussing things too so to keep it very in like in writing so we can both go back and refer to it which is why I love to have it in writing to refer to it because video clips can be deleted and it's just whatever so I just said you know I looked at it and I didn't say anything and then these messages again were coming pew, 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 right after each other then it was vo voice clips voice clips and then it says okay I understand you know you don't like discussing what we're gonna be doing in the video chat until it's paid for and then he says um, 
sounds good and that's how it should be anyways which i was like okay cool we're in the understanding haven't got a chance to finish my message yet then i get a picture of myself doing my stank face then i get a message that says oh my god i um let's just say i enjoyed your photo so many times yesterday like literally okay this has gone from business to not business to hell no the same business so i said I do not listen to video chats, love. And what I meant was video messages, um, which he clearly understood. And he said, uh, and I said, just to give you a heads up. And like I said, I don't discuss anything before time has been purchased. Trying to give him some time again, because I do block people, especially if I feel like I'm being disrespected. So I feel like he was still kind of complimenting me and I didn't, some people just don't know how to interact and engage with others, so I just try to like give them nice nice hints and explain before I just like be like cutthroat and be like, you know what? <laughs> so as I send that message, then I get another message, and you guys remember, this is what I told you before. DM stories, this always happens. Message after message after message after message. You guys think I'm crazy, but it will, I'm gonna put them on the screen so you can see. Um, and so he's like, yeah, it makes me wanna blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, goes into explaining this paragraph when I just said, don't be disrespectful. Don't discuss any of this stuff that has nothing to do with business. So then he responds back to my message finally and says, so if you don't listen to them, how do you know what I'm saying to you? And I was like, uh -huh. so again, you're acting like you can't write that if you're trying to do business, if Nike says Nike's only selling shoes online, you can't go into the Nike store and be like, well, you guys should have them in the store because you're just losing customers. Nike doesn't care. Nike doesn't care. Nike's going to be like, you can go online and get them. And if you don't want them, you don't want them. And then you can go home and cry because you didn't get them. Or you can go home and go online and buy the Nike shoes. So he says, you know, it's not that serious. Uh, or I'm sorry, I said, I will have to ask you to refrain from sending me messages like this, talking about all the stuff that he wanted me to do and how he enjoyed my photo. And I said, once you've decided that you'd like to purchase a video chat, we can discuss what you would like to see. I did not listen to the voice. I do not listen to voice clips. I read your messages. That is how I operate my personal messages. Very clear. Again, content creators, be very clear and articulate exactly what you're trying to say and make sure you put it in writing. This is why I say voice clips is not the way to go. If you have it in writing, you can always put it out there in case anybody ever tries to say anything negative about you, which I don't believe in negativity. I just believe in energy and I feel like this energy was not going where it was supposed to go. So anyway, so he says, it's not that serious, but he says earth. I think he might be voice tech talk texting. Uh, it's a voice message. Sometimes I don't feel like writing. What if I have, what if, what if what I have to say is too long? but to each its own. Uh, again, sir, why is that my problem? If you have to say something too long, maybe you should shorten it up. Maybe you should be respectful of my time and shorten it up. But if you're wanting to purchase something with me, you are going to have to write out what it is that you want after you've purchased the time to talk to me. <laughs> and he says, um, right, but you don't even know what I said if you didn't listen. I didn't, because I didn't listen to it. So I said, what I'm saying to you is that you have to remember that I am just one person and I have about 50 people that send me voice clips. It makes it very difficult to sit and listen to everyone's voice clips and I'm just asking for my time to be respected. Very to the point, very respectful and very um, serious at this point. Keep putting your foot down. Do not let anybody make you bend your boundaries. My boundaries will not be bent. They will not be bent. The only thing that will be bent will be, well, I'm not gonna get into that. Okay. <laughs> so uh, he says, but okay, it is, it is what it is. Um, this is why I don't do online shit. I stick to the real deal in person shit. I do not do fetish stuff. For, I do fetish stuff for real. And you acting like listen to a voice message is a bad thing. I understand. So, again, stand up for yourself. I say, honestly, it's not up here for debate. No disrespect intended. I will just patiently wait until you are ready to do business. I do appreciate all of your support, and I hope that you enjoy my page. Now, the reason why I did not go, you know what, forget this, this is how it's going, I'm blocking you. 
I honestly don't feel disrespected in the message that he sent. I feel disrespected in the fact that he didn't understand my boundaries, but not enough to just be like, you know what, forget you, you're this, you're that. Like, I'm not going to talk down about you or whatever. Did you ruffle my feathers a tad bit? Eh, it kind of made me feel like, you know, I wish people would just understand I am who I am. And if they don't like it, that's totally fine. But no need, you know, to sit here and nitpick at me. And so he says, I changed my mind. You have a good day, beautiful. And I said, you do the same. Now this happens quite often. People pretend like they want to order customs. People pretend like they really want to get your items. But honestly, what they do is they ask you a bunch of questions to kind of feed their fetish a tad bit. They'll be like, okay, well, if I get a video, will your feet stink? Okay, well, if I get this video, how will your nose smell? Okay, how about, get, you know what I mean? And then they try to get you to answer these questions. And then after you answered all these questions, you kind of fulfilled their little fantasy. And then they don't purchase any content. I refuse to do that. And they usually get pretty upset when that happens. And then they try to convince you in some kind of way to make you be like, you know what? In that case, you're so right. Maybe I'll start listening to voice clips because watch what I mean. I get, then get a message after we finish our whole situation. And, he, and he, I said, you do the same because he said, you have a good day, beautiful. And I said, you do the same. Then he messages me back. And this is how I know he's trying to still see if I'm going to bend my boundaries or if I'm going to say, you know what? He's totally right. Or, or if I'm going to say, you know what? I'm not going for that. So he says, FYI, FYI means for your information, you will lose out on a lot of good clients with these small restrictions that you have. I know you have a million of messages in your DM. I go through the same thing, but listening to voice messages is easier than reading millions of messages. When you seem strict for no reason, you will lose clients. No disrespect at all. I'm not here for negative energy, just speaking my mind. Okay, that's great. I mean, thanks for speaking your mind, sir. But if I'm correct, you reached out to me for something that I offered, a product that I offered, uh, you know, a video chat. I don't understand why you think that I reached out to you for mentorship. I didn't. So your FYIs, I mean, I appreciate them. Everybody, of course, you know, wants to be heard, which is why my response to him was, you are heard, have a wonderful day. And he said, thank you, same to you. People just wanna be heard sometimes, guys. And it's okay to let them know you're heard. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna take what you say into consideration. I've gotten so much, I've gotten so much advice from so many different clients that think that they can tell me how to operate my business better. But I have my own business plan, I have my own way that I'm doing things, and I have my own way and rules that are set. So guys, if you're gonna hop in these DMs, you better be ready, because if you're not ready, you might become my next story. Like, subscribe, comment, turn your notifications on so you can see when the next DM story is gonna be